Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Morgan James book launch. My name is Jim Howard. I'm the publisher for Morgan James. And today I'm excited because we have an author who's got a very important book, one that I think is, well, I don't think, but has already kind of changed the way that I view my day. And today we're talking with Katie Hasseltine. And Katie is the author of All the Things, a 30-day guide to experiencing God's presence in the prayer of examine. Katie, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you for having me, Jim. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, I'm excited as well. And, and I said it in the beginning, but I do have my copy of the book and I was sharing with Katie prior to uh, starting this conversation that this stays next to my bedside table. And uh, when I finish my day, I use this to kind of reflect and see where things are. And this is such a powerful book. And you know, Katie, I think, um, a lot of people maybe overlook the examine or don't understand it or don't know really what it is. So what inspired you to write all the things? Oh boy, that's a big question. I can give you my whole story. Um, but I think, I think it's uh, suffice it to say that I am someone who has tried so hard her whole life. I'm a firstborn type A Enneagram one that has just worked so hard to figure things out. And when I came to faith at 17, it was this collision of personality and um, a, a home for all of this energy for me to go, go, go and do, 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 and no, no, no. And um, 15, 20 years into my walk, I am exhausted because I know a lot about God, but I don't sense this closeness. And there were all kinds of circumstances happening, but I ended up at, in a different kind of church and a, a more liturgical environment. And I was introduced to the spiritual exercises by St. Ignatius. And he was this warrior in the 1500s who was catastrophically injured, had to recoup, only had romance novels or a book of martyrs to choose from. <laughs> and he, um, he would read the romance novels and imagine getting better, going back out to battle, winning the war, going home, winning the girl, being the most important person in his city. And he would feel good while he imagined, but would go to feeling restless. And then he was reading the book of martyrs and he started knowing that he, so he would start imagining, I could give my life away. I could give my things away. I could give my time away. And he started imagining this whole other life for himself. And it felt really scary when he was dreaming of it, but he would go to bed and peaceful. And he made this connection that what we think about every day, what our thoughts are, what our experiences are, actually is what makes up a relationship with God. It's how you know how God is moving in you. And I was introduced to this way of thinking. And all of a sudden for me, everything clicked because I knew all the doctrine. I, I could recite all the things. But I didn't know this presence and I didn't know this relationship. And so for me, it was transformative. And during the pandemic, I did a silent day just to get away from it all. And I took my journals from 10 years ago when I went through the exercises and I reread them. And just at the end of it, just cried because this prayer, this examined prayer is something that has become a part of my routine. And even what I realized is that first thing, the examine prayer is a five-step prayer. It's so simple. It just is saying, God, you are with me. Holy Spirit, show me, help me look at my day, forgive me, thank you, and be near me today. That's it. That's the sum total of the prayer. But that first line, God, you are present to me. Just saying that every day has changed my life. Honestly, it's, and I just, and I'm a spiritual director by trade, which means I accompany people on their spiritual journeys. And it's the prayer I give most often. It's the prayer people respond. It's what I get the most feedback about. It's the most e accessible, life-changing, life-affirming prayer. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I think um, one thing that I've noticed in, in my time kind of going through this on a, on a daily basis Mm -hmm. is the revelation of when you start to see where throughout the day I got in the way and or <laughs> where, you know, it's like, okay, I see now, maybe I should have just relied on you a little bit more in this place or that place. And you really start feel that, 
that connection, yeah. like you said, you know, the, the understanding of the relationship that's there every second of every day, if you just take time to look back and, and reflect. Yeah. Yeah, and two words we talk about a lot in spiritual direction and as it pertains to this prayer are, do you feel drawn or do you feel driven? And that's one of those things that when we're just focused on what we believe about God, we're not attuned to. You do have to make a choice, tune to how you feel and what you're thinking and what, and so to those two words, am I drawn or am I driven mm. are really even as we approach the examine, because you can really see those places where you were just driven because you were afraid, because you wanted to succeed, because, and not that those things are bad all the time, but where do you feel drawn and where is God moving you towards greater faith, hope, and love? And I, I think it's just that awareness. So much of the examine is awareness. What are we aware of? And uh, I think if we tune in, we become aware of all that God is doing yeah. um, instead of us. And then we have something to hope and trust in versus if we're not aware God is there, it's hard to trust because what are you trusting in? Yeah. When you tune in, there's gives you hope to trust. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and just kind of on that line, I mean, you know, I think, and, and I want to get your thoughts on this, but you know, uh, reading or, or going through this process on a daily basis can really can really change the way that you view absolutely everything. But I wanted to ask, you know, how can the examine help people maybe even see God in their everyday lives, right? Just really see his presence and see what he's doing. Well, they say God is in the details or the <laughs> devil's in the details, you choose. Um, <laughs> and I think that I think there are so many big things that if we are honest, we don't have answers to. I can't tell you why there's suffering in the world. I can't tell you why our whole world experienced a pandemic. I can't tell you why to have a political conversation these days is like a long time. But what I can tell you is that I took a walk today and I felt a breeze in my face and I named that God and I are with me. And there's a lot I don't know, but what I do know is when I pay attention, I'm aware God is with me. And it doesn't solve or settle these bigger crises in my life. There's still hard things that I have to walk through and I don't have answers for. I can't make sense of. Um, if you're intellectually honest, the Bible's a hard book to read. It's not consistent or clear or one dimensional, or it doesn't all fit. And so I think if you're trying to have a faith that relies solely on your experience or on just this literal reading of the Bible, it gets really confusing. And so for me, this prayer is, okay, there's a lot I don't know, but if I can just practice seeing and paying attention, then I, I will have some sense that God is with me. I won't know everything God is doing, right. but I have a sense and I think what we want, I think it it's borne out of research for years that we were connection and, and um, uh, relationship. And so I th wouldn't we prize and value this relationship with God instead of knowing about God, it's really bonding us to God so that when things feel confusing and life gets hard, we have a connection that we're holding on to, not a doctrine. Because the doctrines don't wrap you up at night, but the relationship does. So that's really how I think it matters to people. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And I think you touched on it a little bit, but you know, why do you think that this book is so needed in today's culture? It's been, it's wild as a first time author to have people come up to you and talk to you about your book or to have your friends, husbands, or your friends or family members text you portions of words you wrote. Um, but words I hear and repeat are dull and peaceful. Mm. And I think if you're paying attention to our world, there's not a lot of gentleness and peace. And I think people are desperate and desperate to remember that to connect to the person who made you is meant to be gentle and peaceful there is something it's it's other things too it's not only that but we can have a home with our creator that is full of love peace and gentleness and i just think we're lacking that in our world and so i think it's the right time yeah absolutely and you know i 
I, I've said it in the beginning, but, um, you know, this has been such a, an important piece for me lately. And, and, you know, the thing is, is I, I'm a Christian for 40 years now, 40 plus years. And, and I've dug into the scripture my entire life and prayed and, and been faithful and, and been on all the things that a good Christian's supposed to do and felt comfortable in that good Christian space. But it wasn't until I really started daily looking back and examining the day and seeing the good, the bad, what went right, what went wrong, where was I, where was God, that I really started to just connect in that deep way. And now it's like, I don't even have to wait to the end of the day, right? Mm -hmm. I can pause at any time and say, what was the last hour like? What was the last yeah. four hours like? And it's just a whole different outlook. So um, Katie, I think you have done so well sharing your journey through it and your experience through it. And and, and I think even bringing it to an applicable uh, yeah. scenario for the reader, right? Because it's just very easy for me to see your story and then instantly see how that prayer set up and use my journey. Um, and it, it's so well done and it's, it's a huge impact. So I know everybody watching today, you guys need to get a copy of this book. You need to start understanding the power of the examine and what it can do in your life. And, and the way Katie spells it out is super simple super easy to understand and you don't have to read a book this thick by saint ignatius <laughs> oh and he he is hard to understand let's be real clear if you go digging him up he's going to be hard to read <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely and all the things is available everywhere books are sold so you can get a copy of of this book anywhere that you buy books so i encourage each and every one of you to do that and katie i know people are watching us today um and and they're probably interested they're they're you've got their attention and, and they're, they're probably looking to connect and, and find out more. So what's the best way for someone watching today to get connected with you? My website, and that's just katiehasseltine.com. And then just follow me on Instagram. I am not awesome on social media. It is not where I spend my days, but I do really like to connect with people. So I do respond to my messages and that's just katie.hasseltine on Instagram. So it's real easy to find me. Awesome. And I'll put a link right below this video. So all of you watching can uh, grab the URL for Katie's website and her link to her Instagram, and you guys can get connected that way. But in the meantime, I do encourage you to grab a copy of this book. It's so powerful. Um, I've been through it twice and it sits on my bedside and I, and I just keep going right back through it. And uh, it's, it's, it's amazing how closer you can draw uh, to the savior when you really take time to see what he's doing in your life and around your life and through your life every day. So Katie, thank you for one, I think doing the hard part and going out and understanding it and seeing <laughs> it and, and realizing it and then writing it in such a way that people can apply it. And um, I think that's important work. And uh, thank you for uh, sharing the book with us today and sharing the book with everyone who's going to get it. And I know it's going to have an impact in their lives. Thank you so much, Jim. Thanks for having me. And thanks for just giving a platform to this amazing prayer. I do think it matters. Oh, absolutely. And thank you for taking the time today to talk with us. It was a pleasure. And uh, I can't wait to see what happens as people get their hands on their book. So um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed this conversation. More importantly, we hope we've piqued your interest in all the things and uh, grab your copy today. So until the next time, we'll see you. Be safe and get a copy of this book. It's going to make a difference. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. <laughs>